breakthrough treatment for patients with cystic fibrosis could be available in the U.S. in less than two weeks. And for the 4,300 Canadians living with a fatal genetic disease, the, new, the news brings hope to a community where no cure exists. Joining us now is John Wallenberg, Chief Scient Scientific Officer at Cystic Fibrosis Canada. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. H how do you feel and how do the people you work with who've been working tirelessly on, on cystic fibrosis, on battling it, how do you feel today on the cusp of the, the, this, this drug becoming available in the States? I gotta, I gotta tell you, really mixed feelings. We've seen this day coming for a long mm -hmm. time. So it, this is, it's huge. It's absolutely huge for the community. But it's a challenge in Canada because, I mean, this is the third generation of this type of drug, and we've sort of skipped right over. We haven't even gotten the second generation. But, I mean, in terms of progress, scientific and, and medically, this is fantastic. Okay, so, so let, let's talk about what exactly does this drug do for somebody suffering with cystic fibrosis? So, well, as you know, it's a genetic disease. Yeah. So the, the gene product of cystic fibrosis is something, uh, 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 is something called the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator. That's a mouthful. We, CFTR. <laughs> so this is the third generation of a class of drugs called CFTR modulators. And so what this drug does is it actually goes in and it fixes that defective protein rather than just treating the symptoms, which is what we've done largely to so far. And uh, so let, let's talk about lung capacity for, for, for yeah. people with yeah. cystic fibrosis. Yeah. People uh, without cystic fibrosis, let's say they have 100% lung function. If you have CF, that can be as low as 40%. Um, and the average CF patient loses, and this was something that was surprised me, loses 2% of lung function per year. Um, how does this drug alter that math? So one of the things that this drug does is in the clinical trials, and they looked at people whose lung capacity, like you said, was between 40% and 90%. And the average improvement in that lung function, which short-term test, was 14%. Like you say, if, yeah. the, if the average loss is 2% 2, 2 per year, that's just a massive difference. And I got to say, this is also, it, it, it's a drug that... that that affects different people differently. differently. So there are some people who had much greater improvements mm -hmm. as well. Uh, clinical trials are being done in Canada right now, but there's no timeline as to when it's going to become available to, to people with CF in Canada. Why are the Americans on the cusp of approving this and Canada is lagging behind? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's really up to the company as to where they submit it for regulatory okay. approval. Okay? So biggest um, market first, sort of thing. Biggest market first, and also, I mean, it's the biggest market, and it's also the market that pays the most. Yeah. Okay, and that's something important to remember as well. So Canada has traditionally been one of those top-tier countries, and so we've usually been uh, uh, pretty rapid in terms of at least seeing a, a company submit something for regulatory approval. So any sense as to when it could become available here in Canada? Because I'm sure that, you, that you're hearing, CF Canada is hearing from families of, 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 oh. of, of, of people with cystic fibrosis wondering when can they get their hands on this. Oh, the, the excitement is palpable. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Um, there, there was some changes in the regulatory process last, that, that were introduced last year. The final details haven't been released. And it's put a bit of a chill on, 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 the, uh, on the, the pharmaceutical uh, industry, if you will, in Canada. So there's, that's a huge concern for us. We're actively uh, lobbying for the company to submit the drug as soon as possible. Okay. Get, get on up here, approval. submit it, and, we'll, and, and hopefully the doors will open as quickly as possible. Absolutely. And we're also helping Health Canada. One of the remarkable things about the approval in the United States was they used four different mechanisms for rapid approval of this drug, and we're hoping that Health Canada will do the same thing and give this a priority review. Fingers crossed, John. Thank you so much. It's a big day. Thanks, ben. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.